Good day, students. Welcome to week 7 of our lesson, which is real numbers. After going through this module, you are expected to illustrate real numbers and its subsets, arrange real numbers in increasing or decreasing order, and represent real-life situations involving real numbers. First, let's have learning task number 1. Answer the following questions. First question, what is the smallest number that you know? Do you think it is really the smallest number? Second question, what does zero stand for? Third, when you subtract 8 from 10, what is the difference? Fourth question, how about if you subtract 10 from 8? Is there an answer? Are fractions considered as integers? And last but not the least, do you know fractions? Give some examples. Now, let's begin our discussion about real numbers. Real numbers comprise of any number that you can think or use in everyday life. It is the compilation of all types of numbers. Each number represents a unique number along the number line. On the real number line, a point corresponds for every real number, and a real number corresponds for every point. Now, let's have the Venn diagram of the real number system. So, the real numbers has its subsets, which is rational and rational numbers, wherein rational numbers has its own subset, which is integers, and integers has its own subsets also, which is the whole numbers, and whole numbers has its own subsets, which is the natural numbers. Now, let's have the subsets of real numbers. First subsets that we have is the natural or counting numbers. These are the numbers that we use in counting, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. The three dots, called ellipses, indicate that the pattern continues indefinitely. This set is also called the set of positive whole numbers, and the set does not include zero. Next subset is whole numbers. These are the numbers consisting of the set counting numbers and zero. We have zero, one, two, three, four, and five, and so on. The next subset that we have is integers. The set of natural numbers commonly called the positive integers, their opposites, and zero, like negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. The next subset that we have is rational numbers. These are numbers that can be expressed as a quotient, a over b of two integers provided that b is not equal to 0. For example, 2 over 3, 4 and 35 hundredths, 0, negative 8, negative 5 over 4, 5 and 1 over 6, square root of 36 and positive 14. Another subset is irrational numbers. Rational numbers are numbers that cannot be expressed as a quotient of two integers. It includes the non-terminating and non-repeating decimals. Their exact values cannot be expressed as either terminating or repeating decimals. However, you can use a calculator to find their decimal approximation. Numbers whose roots cannot be extracted are not the only irrational numbers. For example, pi is an irrational number, which is approximately 3.141592. For example, pi, pi point one nine six one five two four three and so on, square root of five and negative square root of twelve. We have here the set of real numbers. Real numbers has two subsets which is rational numbers and irrational numbers. Under the rational numbers we have the non-integer rational number and the integers. Under the integers, we have the negative numbers and whole numbers. And under whole number, we have zero and natural numbers. 
Let's have this illustrative example number one. Arrange the following real numbers in increasing order. Solution. Express all the given real numbers in decimal form will be helpful. Negative 4 is equal to negative 4. We have 5 and 8 tenths. Negative 1 half is equal to negative and 50 hundredths. Square root of 50 is equal to 7 and 7 hundredths. 4 and 2 fifth is equal to 4 and 40 hundredths. And square root of 36 is equal to 6. Therefore, we can arrange the real numbers in increasing order as negative 4, negative 1 half, 4 and 2 fifth, 5.8, square root of 36, and square root of 50. Let's have another example. Arrange the following real numbers in decreasing order. Solution. 9 over 7 is equal to 1 and 285 thousandths. Negative 4 over 3 is equal to negative 1 and 333 thousandths. Then we have negative 1 and 65 hundredths. Square root of 2 is equal to 1 and 41 hundredths. Then we have 0. And 3 over 2 is equal to 1 and 50 hundredths. Therefore, the list of real numbers in decreasing order is 3 over 2, square root of 2, 9 over 7, 0, negative 4 over 3, and negative 1.65. Examples of real-life situations which involve real numbers. Let's have illustrative example number 3. Four students divide the pizza that they bought after class. Represent the part that could be received by each member using real numbers. Answer. One fourth. Each member will receive one part of the whole which has been divided into four. Another example. In an election for classroom officers, 11 students declared as winners. There were 60 students in the class. Represent the part of officers to the whole class using real number. Answer. 11 over 60, since 11 out of 60 students are the class officers. There are many problems involving real numbers that can be solved using the modal approach. The following steps are suggested in solving problems. First, read and understand the problem. Second, draw a sketch to visualize the problem. Third, identify the operations that will be used. Fourth, answer the question asked. And last but not least, check the answer if they satisfy all the conditions given in the problem. So let's have illustrative example number five. There are 60 students in a class. Three fifths of them are girls. How many girls are there? How many boys? So we have here the 60 students. Three fifths of them are girls. And of course, if three fifths of them are girls, two fifths of them are boys. Let's have our solution. One fifth times 60, which is the number of students, is equal to 12. Then we have 3 times 12, which is equal to 36. Therefore, there are 36 girls in a class. And 2 times 12 is equal to 24. Therefore, there are 24 boys in a class. The class consists of 36 girls and 24 boys, a total of 60 students. Now, let's move on in answering learning test number two on letter a state whether each statement is true or false on letter b arrange each set of real numbers in increasing order on letter c 
Use real numbers to represent the following real-life situations. Now, let's proceed answering learning test number 3. Inside each set and subsets, write at least 5 examples of each kind of numbers. Then, solve the following word problem. 